All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking football, doing another draft breakdown brought to you by SeatGeek. And today we're looking at a matchup series. We got Memphis guard Dylan Parham versus uh, Houston D. Lyman Logan Hall. Two of my favorite day two guys, or even round two guys. I view them as round two guys. Some people view them as round three. I view them both as round two guys, and, and they're two of my favorites. So always good to get a matchup, and especially when they both play at some smaller schools, to have this NFL competition versus each other. So we're going to get into it. I think Parham won pretty clearly in the pass reps and the run reps. I thought there was some really good battling. Hall got a couple wins, but again, Parham didn't really get like really beat in any reps. They cut for one, and even that one was a little understandable. So let's get into it. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the other versus matchups. We got Evan Neal, Trayvon Walker, Cross Leah. We got a, we got a few Dotson, McCreary. We got a few of them. And we got a Quanu versus Jermaine Johnson coming later in the week. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and then the other film breakdowns that you want to check out. So let's get into it. Obviously, Parham is the right guard. We got Logan Hall lined up on top. This first rep, it's a reverse play. So again, a little inconsequential. So, but let's let's break it down. First, good hand placement by Parham. Good leverage. And there, and then it just kind of turns into a wrestling match, which Logan Hall does win. But at the same time, it takes a long time. Like, Hall's going to kind of get into those moves quicker. Like, you got to be working some of that at this point. You know, I know he has to play his gap as well. Again, inconsequential, but Logan Hall does wrestle him to the ground. And that was like the only run rep like that. All right, so now we're we're running the ball, regular run play. Now this 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 rep does matter a lot. So you can see, now with Parham, I'd like him to step forward, watch the right foot. It's not gaining any ground. But he lands his hands well. They're hooking up instead of shooting. Logan Hall lands his hands well. And just good foot drive out of Parham. Not getting a ton of movement. Logan Hall using that, you know, those long arms to... Bench press off and then readjust and work inside. So good job on Hall right here to work back inside with the running back. Like he has to play his gap responsibility, but also good job on Parham. When they readjust, take them where their weight's going. Like flip those hips, bam. Now we're just driving. We're driving. Take them where that weight's going and you got a 10-yard gain. Like yeah, Logan Hall's getting in on the tackle, but it's 10 yards down the field. So when those guys readjust, don't let them shed you. Take them where their weight's going. And you know that turns into pancakes a lot of times. Next rep, very similar rep. Again, very similar. Watch the feet. Good left foot, but the right foot needs to get some movement. Again, Parham bringing the hands up. Good placement. Doesn't really shoot them, but good placement. Logan Hall's got good hands on him. And then just nice base. Nice posture by Parham. Keep the feet driving. And Logan Hall kind of gets... And I think Logan Hall needs to do a better job working his feet because he just gets into a top-heavy wrestling match like we see. But again, you see the strength show up and he's able to readjust. But Parham, keep those feet driving. Take him down the field. Take him down the field. And then there's a tackle at the line of scrimmage. Next, we got a play-action pass. Now we're lined up over here. I hate when they can't... Not get the field goal post in the middle. It's so annoying. Play action. But a very solid win for Parham. Hands a little outside, you see. But again, good leverage, good posturage. Posturage. Good posture. You can't really see it great because there's a field goal post in the middle. But again, a nice win. And Parham won pretty easily in the pass rush game. Again, this one we got a RPO. Just kind of turns into a wrestling match between the two. The QB keeps it for the RPO for some reason because this guy doesn't drop any reels. I'm not going to throw an interception, so he just kills the play and gets as many yards as he can. Not bad. But part of it is because your boy uh, Dylan Parham loses the initial punch. Like Logan Hall gets hands on him. He's got these wide feet. But again, keeps the feet moving. Readjusts the hand. Watch the left hand readjust. Get underneath. Again, not perfect, but good. 
and trying to torque them out. And then again, Logan Hall gets into these top heavies, and he's kind of holding them. Uh, wrestling match. You could probably call holding on both these guys on this rep. But again, Parham's doing his responsibility. Not a great rep, but doing his responsibility. Next one, what do we got? Okay, this is a pass rep. Logan Hall tries this inside swim move. And, and this is why I like about Parham the most, man. That lateral ability. That He works inside. He lands his punch while keeping his feet moving. It's an easy win. Now, you got all this mess down here. That's why when you watch one-on-one clips, I hate it. But this is a good rep. He knows what he's got inside of him. Watch that first step. Bam, bam. Beautiful. Okay, he's working inside. Land your punch while you're playing the full man. Keep that left foot moving. And bam, a win of a rep. Now, you got your help on, inside, on the inside. But that's a win of a rep for Parham. Next one. Another pass, pa uh, pass rush rep. Now, ideally, you want it, if you're Parham, you want to take one more step and be head up with him because that allows him to get around the corner. And if you got someone stunting in, it leaves, you know, responsibility, but you have the center help there. But good hand placement. Again, when, you, when they work that swim, just get in that chest and extend the arms. Like beautiful, beautiful move or be beautiful, you know, like extension by Parham. Logan Hall working that swim. And again, you have the center help. But again, in pass rush, in a pass rep, Parham gets the win. Another pass, uh, passing rep. Beautiful stuff from Parham. Again, sets. Throws that left hand out as a feeler. Brings the right hand in. Logan Hall works inside. Bam. Wash the left foot of Parham. Wash the left foot when he works that inside move. Bam. Just short, short step. Able to meet him. Playing the full man relationship. You know, not leaning. Got your hand, arms extended. Hands inside. Not the best to see again because of fucking field goal post. But again, like, that's the kind, these are the type of things where Parham's going to be a steal for some team. Especially if he goes in round three. I think he should go in round two. But I think he's uh, definitely worth a round two. Because he has this pass uh, blocking ability. And this kind of. His frame and his uh, his athletic ability is what makes good guards in the NFL, especially as they're so pass heavy. Um, before we get into uh, some of these last reps, this uh, this breakdown was brought to you by SeatGeek. SeatGeek is the best ticketing app in the entire world. I use it all the time. In fact, I'm going up to New York soon. Uh, I'm going to watch some Nets basketball games. Hopefully, um, if the Nets go to Eastern Conference Finals, I'm going to uh, versus the Miami Heat. I'll go watch uh, them play the Miami Heat in Miami. SeatGeek, uh, with the promo code GIANTS, you get $20 off your first order, which is just fantastic, right? Who doesn't want $20 off their first order? And they have this the deal scores, and you could just... Uh, what I love is the deal scores are awesome, but you could just click on a section and find the best deal scores in it. You know, like, uh, pro tip, don't just look at the best deal score, because you'll usually be at the top, which is fine. I'm, I'm going to sit at the top guy as well. But click on the like, kind of a, a decent section, and you'll get the best deal in there, and that's that's a... A good thing to do. So promo code Giants for twenty dollars your first off first order at SeatGeek. And again, they got concerts, soccer, football, basketball, baseball, what, whatever you're looking for tickets, SeatGeek has it. So that's SeatGeek promo code Giants for twenty dollars off. Here's Hall's best rep. Leads to a tackle for loss, or uh, you know, or at least a zero yard gain. Just a nice. Inside, works inside, rips the le rips with his left hand into the left shoulder, par him, opens up the gate on him, bam, you're you're wrecking a play. Wrecking a play. He's trying to follow on the inside of this wham block, block and Logan Hall wrecks it. Now, where did par him mess up? Good first step, but you got to bring it, and just because he's lined up in this gap doesn't mean that you're going to have easy helmet placement. You got to be ready for him to shoot that gap. So Hall just beats him off the snap. He's not able to get that left hand and readjust. His helmet's on the back side. And it's just a beautiful rep for Logan Hall. Definitely the best one of, of the game. And, and it leads to immediate success for the tackle for a loss. 
And then the last rep we got here. Again, really nice rep for Parham. Best run rep of the day for Parham. And I love the way this battle went as the game went along. Good hand placement. Good extension. Torquing them out. And keep those feet driving. Watch the feet drive. And again, that's where I think Logan Hall needs to get better. Is keep the feet driving. He's so great with his upper body, whether it's his hand movement, strength, ability to wrestle. If he can get bring the feet to the party, he can be a real deal player in the NFL. And that's why I like like he's just got to work on those feet. But again, Parham wins. Bam. Hands inside. Feet moving. Nice wide base. Getting low. Nice leverage. And top heavy Logan Hall's got nothing for him. I mean, just, just driving him off the ball. Like, he's getting ripped in the film session after that. So, hope you like this matchup. Again, these were two of my favorite players. So, when I found I had all 22 film of them matching up, I was I was uh, very pleased. Because I really do like both these guys. I give the win today to Dylan Parham. But again, watch Logan Hall. He's uh, He's got some stuff to work on. But you see all the ability is there. And there's also dominant reps again, when he's not facing up against Dylan Parham. So, appreciate you guys. Check out the whole playlist. Like, subscribe. All that good stuff. Check out SeatGeek if you want to. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one.